Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 27th of 2020. Well, it is titled the Chang'e 5 mission launch. So what do we see here? Well, we see a rocket being lifted off into space. And you can see the gases being propelled down below that will lift the rocket up above the Earth's atmosphere. Now this specific rocket is heading towards our moon. Now the moon is probably the best explored object in space beyond our own Earth. And it is the only object outside of the Earth where people have walked in the past. And that would be the Apollo missions back in the late 1960s and early 1970s. And those missions did in part what this mission is going to do as well and brought back samples for us to be able to study. And what this mission is going to do is to try to collect several pounds worth of lunar material and bring it back to the Earth. It is so it will have a, a small device that will land and collect that material. And it has about a two week time frame to collect that. Why? Because the moon is very difficult to visit for long periods of time because its day is so long. So if you depend on solar power, a day on the moon is about a month long, meaning that you have two weeks of daylight, and then you have two weeks of darkness. And it is very hard for a device to survive the intense cold of the lunar night for two weeks. So it has that time to be able to collect its material, and then will launch back off the moon and bring that back here. So it will actually reach the moon around November the 27th and will then return in mid-December bringing that sample back for scientists to be able to study. Now it's going to study the ocean of storms or Oceanus Procellarum and that has actually been visited before by the Apollo 12 mission. It's actually where Apollo 12 landed and this will be the first sample return assuming it goes successfully since 1976. That was the last time the Soviet one of the Soviet Luna missions actually went to the moon and brought back samples for study. So if we think about that, about 45 years since we have had new samples from the moon. Now, have they changed? Well, no, the moon hasn't changed in a just a few decades. However, more samples to be able to study and new tests can allow us to get a better understanding of our closest neighbor out in space, our moon. So that was our picture of the day for November the 27th of 2020. It was titled Chang E 5 mission launch. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.